I told you that I'm not a gambler. A real love, a real thing to do every day, and I'd just rather die if I don't get it. I just say that out loud. If I give you this money and you don't pay me back, there are no rules. You understand the gravity of your situation. I know what I have to do. All and nothing, all the money down. I like your shirt. Yes, sir. Like LeBron could find one. <laughs> Two games. <laughs> All right. This is Jamal Finkley from Black Tree TV. You have speed. First great movie. I always enjoy watching you on screen. Thank and you, you. You always bring this wealth of entertainment to the to your characters. I gotta ask. So in real life, where are you a gambler? Where you double down in your career or personal life? Like where do you just put it all out there? Like your character did. Yeah, on anything that I can have some sort of control, or at least, you know, if I have some say in the outcome, and if if it doesn't work out, then I don't have to blame anybody else other than myself, because I know it's going to come down to the amount of effort that I put into it. So I gamble on myself every day, but going to Vegas, sticking my hand in my pocket, and, you know, hoping this guy over here gives me the right cards, no, it's not happening. <laughs> You'll do that right now. You drink? I don't remember if you drink. Of course, there's drink and drink. I drink, but I haven't been drunk since Reagan was president. I got a DUI and in jail, I actually fell down and pissed my pants. You don't need to do that twice. I tell you this so you'll know everybody's been there. Everybody's been there. Once. If you're there twice, I can't help you. Which leads me to ask, are you pulling this just now or forever? What's the difference? I need to know if you got the brains to walk when it's time to walk. I've seen you be half a million dollars up. I've been up two and a half million dollars. You still owe large two places you shouldn't. Why do you want door number three? How else do I get out? If I give you this money and you don't pay me back, there are no rules. Do you understand the gravity of your situation? I understand. This movie also touches on something kind of, kind of like a side plot, of which, which is deals with these college sports and these athletes whose the debate is always about getting paid, leaving early, and everything else. With this college, you know, playoffs, you know, right at the brink of the college playoffs. What do you think about the whole idea of paying college athletes? Or well, there's so much money being made uh, with the NCAA, and you know, a lot of these collegiate athletes are the, the draw. So, and a lot of them won't go on to have a great professional career. So, I would definitely think that they should have some sort of share in the revenue stream, right? Now, the other the other side of the coin is, well, they're getting a free education and all that, but you know, most of them aren't getting an education because people are passing them just so they can go out there and perform, meet their academic uh, requirements, so they can go out there and perform. So I'm certainly all for them all getting paid. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know, the, the, the NCAA and all those universities are making so much money. And then you think about the Baylors of the world and the TCUs of the world who still aren't getting that opportunity, even though they may deserve it as much as some of those other teams. Who may, you know, the three other teams that made the playoffs. I think Florida is a no-brainer. They went undefeated. Right. Um, this whole losing games, but you know, toughness and schedule and all this stuff. I, yeah. I don't know. There's a part in the movie where John Goodman goes through this whole dialogue about F you. And I wonder, is, is the perfect retirement where you could just sit back and be like, F you, I don't got to do anything. Yeah. Yeah, get to that place or where you're just in a position to just do things that you're passionate about. You know, that's the one thing that I really love about my career that my wife and I may have a debate about. Because she's like, well, you're working all the time. I said, well, who knows how long it's going to last? I'm not one of these guys that takes it for granted or just has a sense of entitlement that Hollywood will always bless me with the good roles and the good opportunities. I had to scrape and, and scrounge to get to where I'm at. And, you know, that's why I work so hard in preparing. And that's why I appreciate, you know, the, the opportunities that I have. And, uh, no, if I get to that position, I will still then just make the kind of movies that I think people want to see me in and I think people are going to enjoy. Well, uh -huh. I, I think people want to see you in any movie. Uh -huh. L last, last question, any comment on the temperature going on in America, what's going on in Yeah, uh, it's, it's just crazy, you know, but hopefully, you know, we'll get some people in positions of power that are actually going to make change and, 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 and you know, really kind of, uh, you know, take over the situation because it's getting way out of control. Appreciate your time. Thank you, bud. My Thank pleasure. You. Thank you. You're watching Black Tree on TV, only on Soul of the South.